Welcome, workout of the week number 11. This time we have a four day a week strength and power development workout. So what is our training goal? Well, I just said we want to develop strength and become more explosive, also known as maximum strength training and combined with a power training. Let's look at our training variables. Let's start with the training intensity. So within this program, we have so-called strength days and we have power days. Yeah? On the strength days, the training intensity is 85 to 100% of the 1RM. On the power days, it's a mix of dynamic and ballistic work. So the ballistic work there, the intensity is between 20 and 50, and for the dynamic work, 50 to 70. What's the rep range? On our strength days, it's one to three. On our power days, it's three to six or two to four. Yeah, three to six for the ballistic work, two to four for the dynamic work. The exertion, what is the exertion? On our strength days, it's hard to near maximum exertion. And on the power days, it's light to medium exertion. Our training effort on the strength days, it's a maximum effort. And on the power days, it's a ballistic effort and a dynamic effort. Let's have a look at the exercises. Again, strength days and power days. In the strength workouts, we do very fundamental squatting, hinging, pushing and pulling. And on the power days, we use accommodating resistance for the dynamic work and we use medicine balls and kettlebells for the ballistic work. The exercise order is most complex to least complex. And if we look at a few more training variables, we have our training frequency being four days a week. It's a station training, including some complexes. The training split is an upper lower split. And I've mentioned by now we have strength days and power days. So therefore our upper lower split looks like we have an upper body strength day. We have a lower body strength day. And we have an upper body power day and a lower body power day. Yeah, that makes up for the four sessions. So how does it look? Let's look inside the program and jump right in. So here we are inside our program. If you've downloaded that PDF before, you know the structure by now. You get an overview of the program. You see the table of contents. You see how to structure the week. So basically you do workout number one, lower body strength, followed by workout number two, the upper body power. Then you rest the day, then you have lower body power followed by upper body strength. Yeah? You can arrange the workouts differently, but I would propose to stick to this structure. So let's have a look at the workout number one, which is our lower body strength day. Yeah? So fairly simple. We have three exercises. We do a bilateral squat being the back squat. We do a deadlift, a hinge, and we do a unilateral squat. You can see here, we have five sets of three repetitions at 90% of the 1RM, yeah, which equates to an RPE of nine. The interserial rest is five minutes. Yeah? So even though it's only three exercises, it's a total of 15 sets. Every set is interspersed by five minutes and the exertion being at an RPE of nine, you will definitely feel something after that workout. Yeah. Um, workout number two, upper body power. So now we have our complexes. We do exercise 1A followed by exercise 1B and then exercise 2A followed by exercise 2B. Let's have a look. The movements are somewhat antagonistic, meaning we have the medicine ball push. So we push the ball up 
by followed by a medicine ball slam where we slam the ball down yeah so we're using antagonistic movements and the same is true then for the bench press which is band resisted and the bench row which is also band resisted so the first two exercises are ballistic and we work at an intensity of 25% for four repetitions for the next two exercises the accommodating resistance a dynamic effort we work at intensity of 60 percent for four repetitions let's have a look at workout number three lower body power so here again we do three exercises they are not complex we do a barbell jump squat as the first exercise then we do kettlebell throws or kettlebell swings ideally i'd like to do kettlebell throws but they are really an advanced movement. So number one, you need to know how to do them. And number two is you need to have the ability to do them, meaning you need to be able to throw the kettlebell somewhere. So, and you also need to make sure that it's done safely, yeah? So that you don't throw the kettlebell at someone or the kettlebell does not fall onto someone. Uh, alternatively, you, alternatively, you can do the kettlebell swings. But again, there's no release. It's not per se ballistic. And then you follow with a box squat, accommodating resistance, accommodating resistance, the band resisted box squats and the RDL, which is also accommodating resistance. And then we look at the intensity and the repetitions, which is similar to the previous workout, the upper body power. 25% of the 1RM for the ballistic work and 60% of the 1RM for the accommodating resistance. Let's have a look at workout number four, which is the upper body strength. Yeah? So here again, we have the exercises complexed and we start with a horizontal push followed by a horizontal pull. And the second one is a vertical push and a vertical pull. Yeah? And also here, intensities, 90% of the 1RM for three repetitions and five sets. Within the complex, after the first exercise, you do two minutes of rest. After the completion of the complex, the second exercise, you do five minutes of rest. Yeah? And that concludes our four day workout, four days of workout, four workouts. And let's move back to our presentation. So we're back. And now what are the next steps? So you can download this workout and fill it out. You can join the membership. Within the membership, you get the four week program. This was only the first week of the entire four-week program and then in the four-week program that is also customizable and I'd appreciate if you like the video and subscribe and then you get notified for more workouts every week there will be a new workout so you will get notified to not miss any workout so and with that I thank you for listening to me you can check out the previous workout and here again I made it simple for yourself, you can subscribe.